What is up, heroes? It's Simonite Zero. Welcome back to Patron Pick. In this episode, we're going to be playing Honey Pop. Oh man, this is a this is a game that patrons, well, one patron in particular, you know who you are, has been pushing for for a very very long time, and it finally is happening. Many of you probably have already heard of Honey Pop. If you haven't, it was a huge craze maybe four or five years ago. And um, I think there's a sequel that came out, and now there's a third one that's going to be coming out. Regardless, it's a, it's a dating sim that kind of kind of took the online gaming community by storm. And I actually played quite a bit of it four years ago. I actually 100% completed it on Steam. I really enjoyed it, and my, my friends in the UK can attest to the, the fun moments we had with it. So... Regardless, it's not something I would typically play on my channel anymore, but it's, uh, you know what, it's, it's got its pros and its cons, so let's enjoy it for what it is. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my save data from before, not that we'd really do anything with it, but we have the option of starting as a male or a female. Unlike the Pokemon games where I'd actually be tempted to start as a female character, I'm going to choose the male character, and we'll see... Where things start. Man, it is it has been a long time since I've played this game. For those of you that don't know, it is a dating sim with puzzle elements. Um, it's actually more of a puzzle game, I would say, than a, a dating sim, but what's really funny about it is the characters and the some of the, some of the comedy, the humor, the, the dating sim interactions, I guess. What's not so cool is a lot of the stereotypes that are, you know, interlocked into the game. So, if that's something that is going to bother you, yeah, um, know that that might be something that shows up. Know that I don't condone them, and just, like I said, try to appreciate Honey Pop for what it does well. Regardless, we're greeted by this girl, and we have the option of answering with either, Hi, hello, what, who, me, or, uh, we're, we're gonna stick with, uh... Um, hello, is anybody home? <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just don't talk to many well, girls. you're talking to a now champ. Champ? <laughs> my name is Ooh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Q. I literally can't remember my name right now. <laughs> you mean like the letter? Q, that's weird. We'll, we'll go with I literally can't remember my name right, right. now. Alright. We'll try that again later. Look, dude. Try that again later? You all right? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, I'm chill. I'm chill. What do you mean? I'm fine. Oh no, I just, uh, I just... <laughs> we'll try and play it off. I mean, I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. Yikes. Um, well, it's just that you're so pretty and stuff, or crap, yeah, sorry, I should just go, or is it that obvious? Let's, um, let's, let's try and salvage it. Oh god, did you just say that? Is this <laughs> hmm, We're getting right. ripped apart. You know what? This might actually work. Yeah, yeah, oh man, this is your lucky day, buddy. Listen, I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Real soon. Night! <laughs> if we meet again, it's certainly not because our answers earned it. That's for sure. So now we're back in our bedroom, hey, and you, hello and there? Shine. We've got work to do. Um, <laughs> excuse me? Get Oh, I was having the best dream, or mm, five more no minutes. Way, dude. No That's how I feel every time waste. I wake up. No time to waste. I get up. I'm definitely still dreaming. How did you get here? I'm calling the police. W wait, who are Don't you? Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Q from the bar. So, Q's apparently into cosplay. <laughs> um, yeah, but you had brown hair. Also, not wings. Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. A love fairy, gotcha. So, what exactly is a love fairy? I'm glad you asked. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just mm, what I do. I don't like to brag, <laughs> okay. but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. I don't All like to brag, but brags. Basically walking babe magnets now. You, though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you guys can see a lot of the comedy, a lot of the, the banter between the different characters is, is pretty cool. And you guys will come to appreciate the puzzle elements as well. Also, something that I'm thinking about now that I recall is a lot of the achievements are actually pretty cool to try and get. Um, there, there's some definitely mechanics and optimization you can try to, you know, strategize with in the game and doing so, you know, optimally was actually a really fun math problem. And yeah, I'll, I'll save it for another time. We're also, there's no way we're going to get to anything relevant to that in, in this particular episode. But anyways, um, let's see here. Why do you want to help me? What's you in it for you? Questions. Can't a fairy just help a brother out? We need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? You know, what's really funny is I'm so used to letting Japanese voices play and then reading the text. And this is, well, like the first time in forever that it's, well, that's not been the case. Um, I mean, you know, in amount, like actual dates with physical oh girls. Oh my god, it's worse than I thought, isn't it? <laughs> right, grab your shit. We're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're off. On a Sunday night. To the outdoor lounge. So, this right, is our first time with, with the puzzle this segment. is the date grid. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. Oh, I don't want to match those ones though. So, there's there's a lot you can do in this game. Um, as far as like, actual strategy for moving the pieces to push certain ones in different rows, etc. I honestly think that's one of the coolest parts of the game. Trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. Sure, but I'd like to do it this way. Aw, oh, man. See, so if I could like move this heart here, I can match those and then match the four sexuality tokens, but I will not be allotted such an ability. Gotta get those combos. Okay, what's next? Oh right, let me cover the other token types real quick. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you, well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. This is Not so much happy. easier on my voice. Like I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. For what it's worth, the voice acting is actually really good in this game, in my opinion. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. Alright, here you go. Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get, too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them on your next date too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? All right, thanks all for the right, fairy I magic cue. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do is start off with that. Then, I don't know, we can uh, bring this down here. Then maybe this over here. And then, so we can do this. Hmm. 
Wow, this is this is so funny. It has been such a long time since I've even, you know, thought about this game, really. <laughs> so it's just really funny to think of it. And actually be considering all the same strategies I would go through in the last the last time I actually, you know, played this game. It's just really funny. For those of you that have played this game, what do you guys think of it? Did you guys enjoy it? Do you like the puzzle aspects? Do you appreciate the characters, the voice acting, etc.? These uh, broken hearts over here are going to be dangerous, but that's right. There's a there's a goal. So we were supposed to get up to a hundred nice. affection, and we get some you money. Obviously, spelled like an in-game currency. Can't actually be spelled like actual money. So now it's Monday morning. We're back in our bedroom. Oh shit! It's morning already. We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology. The <laughs> Love Fairy technology. Oh boy. The All right. So we have the honey lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize <laughs> your inventory, creepy. buy new gifts, upgrade your train. Like convenient for it's our purposes, awesome. I guess. We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. To access the honeybee, all you have to do is right click at pretty much any time. Or if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. Go ahead. <laughs> they recognize the convenience boy, okay. of their control scheme. So the inventory is actually really helpful. You can take a look at a lot of stuff you have. Tissue box used for wiping your nose or cleaning up other various bodily fluids. Dirty magazine, reading material that you only look at for the interesting articles. <laughs> it's really funny. So there's a girl finder, various information on the girls, messages we get from them, the inventory, the store. You can buy various gifts to give. Um, the girls you run into, some of them are unique. They're consumables, I think. Like food and drinks affect their intoxication. I forget what impact that has, though. Um, there's same... Oh, okay, wait, that's great. not what I want to do, but... I think that's it for now. There are traits Let's you can upgrade that affect, rise. like, how much affection you get, etc. Regardless, um... <laughs> you guys know me, or we can just chill here and play I video said, games. Said, Let's go talk to some broads! Not, not a fan of using the term broads. Or we just chill I here and play said, video games. Is this just gonna repeat? Ah, oh, it is. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Now, if you want to meet a hot chick, you gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting, and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, oh the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? So, because it's me, we're gonna head to the university. Good choice, as Ricky. someone who appreciates intelligence. All right, ready? Get your game face on. And of course, this game, you're, you're going to see, very much goes with the, the stereotypes. Certain traits are very predictable in the people you find at certain places. Oh, Misumi. I'm glad I ran into you. Have you had a chance to grade our exams yet? Uh, remind me what that was on again? You know, the conservation of whatever you call it. Oh, <laughs> whatever yeah, you yeah. call it. I think those are on my desk. If you just Somewhere. had an exam on it, that's oh, not a good okay. sign. Do you know when you might be able to get them back to us? Later. Next week, probably. I'm sure you did fine, Tiffany. You think? I hope so. You don't I even remember? The law of conservation of what? Of material. Do you know what we're going over next week? I'd like to try and get a head start this time. Next week? I don't know yet. Actually, <laughs> I have a pounding headache right now. Can we do this later, Such please? different levels of proactivity. Yeah, okay. Sorry to bother you, Miss Yumi. No, it's fine. I'll talk to you later. Whoa, is this chick serious? That schoolgirl uniform is a little on the nose, don't you think? A little She's on the cute, nose. Though. Blonde, too, so, uh, bonus points. I don't think I know what that phrase means, but... Oh, yeah. Don't worry. They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. <laughs> so you mean we're just gonna be talking to you here and we're gonna look like we're talking <laughs> nah, to ourselves? Crazy real. 
I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sidelines. Is that that love fairy technology? This is your classic girl next door situation. She's nice, so don't say anything to scare her off. But don't be afraid to take a chance. All right, so. Hey, don't take this the wrong way, but I just thought you were cute and had to say hi. <laughs> but be too forward of me to ask you on a date. Excuse me, do you know where I can find the student union? We sure do. I know this place inside and out. You go past the building here and take a left at the fountain. You can't miss it. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you starting this semester? I teach here, Professor Handsome, they call me. <laughs> Thinking about it, would you recommend the school? No, but if all the girls here are as cute as you, I might have to reconsider. Well, we'll say we're thinking about it. Of course. This place is awesome. My professors are the best. If I end up going here, you'll have to show me around. Or sorry, am I holding you up from getting into class? You strike me as an athletic type. You on a varsity team? Well, yeah, I'd love that. We'll make a little it's bit, a little bit of move there. Campus too. My name is Tiffany, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tiffany. You seem like a cool guy. Hopefully, I'll see you around campus. Thanks. No, wait. You did it. Well, Guys, I did it! I beat the play. game! I did the thing! I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago? Since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. No way! So after you're done here with <laughs> this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just, just like go on a walk outside, and, check out the girl finder and we'll have a map of where oh, all of the girls in my community yeah, are. Pumped. Go get them! I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. <laughs> so, we have a new message from Q. Before I forget, the money you earn during our date, you can use that to buy gifts, food, and drinks using the store app on the Honeybee. It'll even detect which gifts the girl you're talking to prefers. We'll mark them with an icon. We've practically done all the work for you. Something I wanted to say was traits. So, you can increase the amount of affection you get from different types of tokens. Where's the, where is it, luck? I think this one is actually, like, luck is really good. The chance of generating a power token increases 30% for four of a kind matches and 80% for five of a kind matches. So the, what's it called? The power tokens give you an extra bonus of affection. And so when you combo, combo them, it's like really helpful. Something like bandages aren't too helpful in the beginning. Well, maybe at the very beginning of the game if you're just starting the game. But if you're assuming you're going to play in a skilled manner, you shouldn't be playing to reduce the penalty for messing up regardless. Passion can be really helpful too. Um, power tokens. I like to do this sort of stuff. Maybe if like there's a particular girl you're aiming for, you'll want to upgrade whatever gives them the most affection. But here, there's a lot of management strategy with these traits and leveling that up. I forget what all of these do. I know that you can't go on a date. That's what it is. You can't go on a date if <laughs> the, your date is hungry. So you need to make sure you're buying food and giving it to them. And then, I forget what the drinks do. What do they do? Does it, I think it might make it easier to do something with the date. I, I, I don't recall, but regardless, we'll, um, we'll yes, talk with nice. Tiffany. Do you still talk with any of your exes? Do I still talk with any of my exes? God, no. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I keep in touch with some of them. Well, that would require having had a girlfriend. <laughs> I think the most reasonable response here is, yeah, yes, I keep in touch really with some cool. of them. It's nice when you can still be friends. I think that's reasonable. Um, I forget how many times we can actually talk with them before, you know, asking on a date or something. I know that as far as like optimization goes, you're supposed to up the, the amount of honey you get. That's up here, right? I forget what we do with that though. What's shaking bacon? What's shaking bacon? <laughs> do you prefer one season over the others or so exactly how old are you? I've gotta know what cup size you rock in. What? So exactly how old are you? I'm 20 years old. You're 20 years old? Okay. Um, so yeah, we, we're getting honey. I don't remember what exactly that does though. Is that what we use this for? Yeah. Okay, so we upgrade this with honey. Now you'll notice that the, the food bar at the bottom here is decreasing. So oh, I'm also trying to wonder if we go on a date, will that use up the rest of the day? I remember because there's like a morning time and night time and on certain days there are more time periods 
and you really have to optimize it, but ob obviously this is a lax mini miniature introduction to the game, so I shouldn't be worrying too much about optimizing all. We will, let's buy some food. How about pancakes? I hear, did somebody mention some really good pancakes? We'll, we'll give those to Tiffany. Man, I love breakfast. Best meal of the day, hands down. Breakfast is a solid meal. I'm a big fan. I don't, unfortunately, make enough of solid breakfast to, you know, claim like I'm a true breakfast aficionado. But regardless, right, the last kind of date. Right. How can I say no to that? All right, all right. How can I say no to that? I mean, I don't even know how we ask, but apparently it was pretty good. So we're going on our first date with Tiffany at the gardens. Something I should mention is the music is it's really good. So and I think something that's nice, nice about the game is seeing the different like outfits that the characters have. Okay, so here we go. Um, where do we want to start? I, I don't know what she particularly likes, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. How do I want to set this up? Ooh, that's looking pretty good. How about I bring this up here? Ooh, got a nice combo. One of the things that's nice is setting up, or like building up passion relatively early on. So, for example, if I want to shift more than one, I don't know, of these, I can bring this all the way over to make that those passions line up rather than just drag the pink heart over there. There's a lot of manipulation, I would say, that goes into it. So we have 14 moves left. I think we're doing okay. I think. Gotta watch out for those broken hearts over there. Oh, so this is a power token. That is, well, powerful. It's pretty straightforward. Um, let's see. Is there anything... that stands out as a really good move. We're about halfway. I think what might be a good idea right now is to use the bear. We don't have any sentiment though. So, I guess what we can do is maybe like bring this down here. Let's get a little bit of that. And yeah, I wanna use the bear when I can. This'll be a double. I was setting up for like a four combo there, so it's not ideal, but it's all right. Okay, so now that our passion level has upped a little bit, we can get a little bit more of a boost from the moves we do make. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I can do this and get a nice double. Cool, and then over here, ooh, I see some some good potential, but not quite enough. Sorry, we'll, we'll stick with the four for now. And I'd say we're doing pretty well. Um, what's a good move to make here? I want to bring this over here so that then I can bring this all the way up here. Oh wait, no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, it's fine, we can do this for now. And that, whoa, I guess flirtation slash green is what Tiffany is, uh, particularly likes. So what's particularly cool is based on how quickly you, or how few moves you actually use, um, you get more money. So it rewards being efficient with your different moves. And so we've unlocked the blueberry picnic outfit. And with that, I think we got a new message from Q. What, what you got for us, Q? Every date you go on is gonna be more challenging than the last. If you don't improve your traits, you're gonna blow it. Trust me, you can use the honey you earn from interacting with girls to upgrade your traits using the traits app. Cool, so we will talk with her a little bit more. If you had to pick one, what do you think your biggest weakness is? 
Oh boy, I can be pretty insecure about my relationship. Weakness, I've never heard such a thing. It's hard for me to make an emotional connection with someone. Um, I feel like Tiffany would want the first or the third one. I can be pretty insecure about my relationship, or it's hard for me to make an emotional concern. Let's go with insecure about your relationship. You? Nah. What would you have to be insecure about? And you'll also notice that now there are two hearts next to Tiffany's name. That's because we've for every date you do, you'll have an extra heart there. Something we'll talk with her one more time, just to so exactly how old are you? We already asked that, and she'll actually get upset with you, slash you won't get honey if you ask the same question again. I also think you get less honey if you respond with a, you know, an answer that they won't appreciate. Regardless, um, do you prefer one season over the other? I kind of like all the seasons. If I had to pick one, probably summer. Cool. And then we'll ask one more question. Bacon? What's shaking, Bacon? <laughs> I haven't even asked your last name yet. It's cool. My last name is May. Tiffany May. Tiffany May? Is that a reference to something? I feel like it is. Regardless, um, let's head back to the girl finder. We've got this mysterious teacher in uh, Dawnwood Park, I'll so... See you later. We'll head over there. We've exhausted all of the honey we can get from... <laughs> From Tiffany for now and head on over to the park there are also some like secret characters you can unlock by doing certain things but good morning Iko oh hey belly what's wrong <laughs> belly seems like something's bothering you yeah life <laughs> life Ooh. Class is low, low down uh, I don't want to talk about that mm, well I think I have just the thing I'm headed to the beach to work in a few poses you should join me. That's right. Nothing Belly's like a, a yoga instructor, I think. To melt that stress away. Uh, not today. I'm just not feeling it. Well, I, I feel you, Iko. But belly there. slash exercise and yoga and all that are wait, pretty well demonstrated means of relieving stress. Dude, bro. Bro. Asian chicks. Oh boy. Don't even get me started. I have like the worst case of yellow fever ever. Uh, ever. See what I mean what by those? This is one of the cons. <laughs> this is a tough approach. The stereotypes She's and, kind and of all that. In a shitty mood, so say something stupid to try and cheer her up. It doesn't matter what. The stupider, the better. The stupider, the better. I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but hey, can you teach me karate? How about no? Screw these birds, am I right? Isn't it funny how life is pointless and nothing matters? <laughs> We're gonna go with that. <laughs> I ask myself the same thing all the time. I'm sorry to hear that. No, I just like to bother people who look like they want to be left alone. I'm only kidding, I just thought you were cute and wanted to meet you. Huh, but for real, what's up? You look a little bummed out over here. Um, well, we'll go with the top one, a little humor. Well, mission accomplished. Good work. I'm just trying to relax, enjoy a little downtime between classes. I teach up at UOG. You know UOG? It's like the only university in the city for some reason. I'm trying to think, what does that actually stand for? I don't remember. A teacher, you must be like really smart. Oh, so you've got that sexy teacher angle going then? Oh yeah? What do you teach? Well, ooh, I'm tempted. I feel like she would appreciate this. I don't know about that. I have a couple students who might agree with you though. <laughs> I'm glad you came I over guess it, here. I guess she took a liking to it. The kids call me Miss Yumi, but you can call me Aiko. Oh, I guess we're that special already. So let's talk with her. Something I can help you with? Probably. Plain question, but what's your favorite color? Let's see. So exactly how old are you? Twenty-one, of course. Twenty-one? Uh, I'm fucking with you. I'm twenty-eight. <laughs> twenty-eight, and you're a teacher. I guess I mean there are there are teachers that, you know, teach right out of college, so it's, but still, pretty young. Yes. Let's talk again. Uh forgive me, I haven't even asked your last name yet, although she already said it, right? We already know it's Miss Yumi, but it's random, but how tall are you? Last time I checked, I was five four. About average. All right, you guys know the drill. Let's um, I want to say let's go on a date. Hey, as long as you're paying. <laughs> as long as you're paying. I guess, I guess we're at that point of desperation. We're willing to be used, utilized solely for the this. money we we bring to the, the table. Ring to ourselves. Ice skating. That's something I still want to do with Lizzie. We haven't. Have we gone ice skating? We always talk about going on an ice skating date. We haven't yet, um, but we've talked about it plenty of times. Nice. It'll be really funny because I've done a lot of ice skating in my life. Not that like I'm you know incredible or anything like that, but um, okay. What do we want to do here? I think 
Now I'll just do this for now. Um, then we can bring this over here. I want to build up my passion relatively early on. Hmm. I feel like there's a good setup with the sexuality tokens over here, but I'm just not quite going to be able to get it. For the time being, we'll get some sentiment. Wow, we got a lot going on there. Obviously, the lower you break the tokens, the more likely it is you'll get certain combos going, so I guess that's a bit of a, a tip there. What else can we do? Um, I guess we can make a four up there. I wanted to set up for a five with the sexuality okay. tokens, but it's all right. We'll be fine. I'm trying to think, oh, I don't remember what particular token she likes as well. Not too surprising that I don't remember it, but sorry, right. we can get a double here. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. I guess that's uh, we'll, we'll take those. Anything else? Hmm. I don't see too many like out of the park plays right now. I guess all we can do is okay. you know the bells. Ooh. Potential for, you know, an upcoming, like, five sentiment, that would be pretty cool. Um, I could do this. And that will set me up for... Let's go with here. Cool, so we got our sentiment. And we've got our passion level up even more. We're just that much more passionate now. And I still don't really see too excellent of a setup, but it's not the end of the world. I guess, for the time being, we can take this over here. Okay. Hmm. I guess we can do this. Thanks. And that way, we'll be able to more comfortably do this. Not bad. Oh, I was hoping I'd be able to set that up a little bit differently, but that's okay. Um, we'll bring this over here. And we're already, we've only got 48 more affection to get, so I'm sure we'll be fine here. How do I want to do it, though, is the question. I don't see any, like, super plays. I guess we can do this for the passion for now. We can bring this up here. Okay. Still no power tokens, unfortunately, but that's not the end of the world. I really want to get this four of sentiment here. In order to do that, I need to bring one of these over, but I'm not seeing a great opportunity to do so, unfortunately. So I think for the time being, yeah, I'll have to break up this set of bells, unfortunately, but that's okay. We have plenty of moves, so we honestly probably don't even need to strategize all that much here. It's more so for my, my own entertainment that I'm doing it. Because, yeah, I, I'm sure if we just even match like one more sexuality token, we'll be fine. Great. As I say that, we get uh, some unfortunate luck, and now here we are. At the very least, what I can do is get some of my turns back and get some more passion. So our, our passion level is already maxed out, wow. So we can probably make ground pretty quickly, or gain ground pretty quickly now. <clears throat> How do I want to, though, is the question. I think what I'll do is bring this over here. And that way I'm starting to set up for a potential orange combo, I guess. Could also bring this over here and set up for a sexuality combo. If I lower some of these sexuality tokens. So I think that's what I'll do. And then this should be probably the final hit. Not bad. Yep, there we go. Oh, I should probably have not that used my gift. Really nice. Thank you. 
Because I'm pretty sure we get extra points or extra money for sentiment we've collected too. So yeah, you, you can see how it's not just kind of like a, a brain dead matching game. It also does get more difficult later on. Um, there's also an extra difficulty called like alpha mode that you can get after you, you know, more or less beat the game. There's a lot of replay, you know, value in my opinion. We'll, we'll talk with her one more time to grind out that honey. Also, I think it's, you can't go on a date with her when she's completely empty with her food meter, but it's not like it uses any of the food meter to go on a date. But what are you studying in college? Master's degree in mathematics, and I hey. it every day. No, no, math is wonderful. I go, don't be, don't be like that. So now we can go to the Turtle Bay Beach. Be a good boy out there. And hunt down Belly, who should be doing yoga out here. The game saves, so if you make any mistakes with your optimization for going on dates with the girls, collecting honey, all are that you jazz, serious? it's uh, oh, not going to work out on. too well. Just try it on. It's going to look so cute. Try what on? What's her name? There's Jessie, nothing here. I think. Come on. Try what on? There's nothing here. Immediately thought of you. <laughs> You're going. Oh, I, I remember this character. I oh my. <sighs> All right. Just make sure nobody else is around. Make sure nobody else yeah, is around. Sure. The coast is clear. <laughs> what are you trying to get her to wear? You're good. Jess, I can't wear this. What there is. Are you talking she's about? right. There is not a lot there. Cute. Cute. Oh, stop. There's nothing wrong with a little skin. You can't keep all that boob to yourself, hun. It's not fair to the rest of the world. The world will be just fine without my boobs. Yeah, but I want. What a clash of personalities Besides, here. It wasn't cheap, so you're stuck with it. So come on, let's go. Let alone. I'm not going anywhere in this. I can't imagine doing do yoga and something uh, like that. You are impossible. Enjoying the view. Quick, now's your chance. Before she goes to change, just say something, anything. Anything. As if we couldn't talk to her after she's changed. But excuse me, but if I don't stop you now, I'm going to regret it forever. Dang, girl, is it hot out here, or is it just you? <laughs> hey, wait up. Jeez. Something not that aggressive. Sorry, um, I'm so embarrassed right now. My friend made me put this stupid thing on. Sorry. One second. Let me go change. <laughs> Your friend has good taste. That bikini was destined for you. Oh, what the bikini? I hadn't even noticed. <laughs> What's the rush? I was kind of hoping you would leave it on. I, I, I don't like any of these. Um, I don't know. I I don't think this is believable. I I think we'll go with this one. It's a little revealing, don't you think? <laughs> it's a little revealing, don't, don't you think? think? Yeah, no kidding. I'm like that, you know. Like what? Adorable? Too late. Hey, if you've got flaunt it. Oh, so you're not like that? Never mind then. <laughs> we'll go with the top. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not that bad. I mean, if you're really saying you like it. Oh, and hi. The person inside of the bikini you're talking to? <laughs> her name is Belly. <laughs> I, I actually really like the way she phrased that. So we'll talk with Belly real quick, get to know her. I something. I'm curious. If you found someone's wallet on the ground, what would you do? Um, absolutely see who I can return it to. You're a good person. Not everybody would be so honest. Yeah, no kidding. Definitely some of the other characters will... Well, you? we probably won't run into if given the amount of time, but uh, some of the other characters would definitely not do that. Um, forgive me, I haven't even asked your last name, or what you study in college? Studying law, but law. I interest. Interesting. I came out with a two-year degree. Alright, so we'll go on a date real quick, and that will probably be the last one. For what it's worth, there we've, we've seen a few of the characters. We didn't quite get to know the blonde girl that Belly was talking to on the beach. There are nine girls, like nine main girls, I think. And then there's some bonus secret girls on top of that. We actually, now that I think about it, I don't think we're, we're not going to meet my favorite character. And we didn't actually end up meeting a couple of the big time favorites. I know Aiko is really popular, but I, I recall Audrey and Nikki, Nikki or 
yeah, Nikki in particular, I remember being really popular because she's into video games. All right. And amongst this a, a good you know, population that's better. interested in video games. Oh, before we go on the date, I was gonna, I was gonna upgrade one of my talents or something like that. That's all right though. All right, so we're at the water park. What did I tell you about this bikini? You could have changed. I don't, I don't want you to be uncomfortable on a date or just in general. All right, so let's see what we can do here. So we're doing pretty well to start things off. Wow. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, she likes talent. So we'll want to play that up while we can. Um, what else do I want to do here? Let's do this. That'll give us that and set us up for a combo with sexuality, which isn't her favorite, obviously, but is um, better than nothing. This should be a double, and I don't think we'll be in trouble with any broken hearts. Though it's getting pretty close, unfortunately. What can I do? I want to... Oh, man, I gotta do something over on the right side here so I can set up this sexuality combo. Or, I guess I could do this. Yeah, I think that'll work for now, even though it's not exactly ideal. Wonderful. But it'll at least allow me to work from here. And what I can actually do now is I can do this so that if I do end up using my, like, bear gift or whatever in the future, I'll have that set up like that. Now, I've got some talent stuff kind of set up. I'd like to set up a five combo, which would be, you know, ideal. But I don't see the opportunity to do so at the moment. So I think we'll stick with the four for now. Or, hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So let's do this and set up a nice little double combo again. Hopefully we don't get unlucky with the hearts, or the broken hearts for that matter. We were probably not gonna get too lucky with this sexuality combo up here. So I'm not too worried about disrupting that. Um. I'd like to get a three combo on this row to set up for the orange token. I forget what that attribute is, but that's okay. <laughs> um, we have other stuff set up for talent, but not a whole lot. This music is so cheery. How do I want to set things up? I guess we can do this for now. I know we're building up a lot of potential sentiment in this lower right corner. There are also quite a few broken hearts that are starting to get a little bit concerning. Hmm, how do I want to break them up potentially? I could do something like this. I think that's okay for now. That also sets up a combo for sexuality as well. I don't want to drag this one over because that will, I don't know, put me in, oh, what's it called, uh, danger for the broken hearts over on the right side. Hmm. I don't see a whole lot of really good plays. So I think we'll just make do with what we have. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the sexuality over here because I don't think that's like upper alley anyways. We can do a nice little double here though. This area is also relatively safe with the broken hearts being primarily in the lower right corner. could do that, but that's kind of a basic play. Hmm. I want to use the, the sexuality token here, but in order to do that, I'd probably have to do this for just optimizing. So that's okay for now. That was a good amount. We've got, what, 74 more affection to go? We're doing fine. We can get some extra turns here as well, so that's always good. We can also set up a nice combo here um, and get a little bit more passion along the way. 
We don't have a whole lot of talent on the board, unfortunately. There's quite a bit of sentiment building up. We're just kind of playing around it, so um, it's not surprising, but it is just kind of funny. Let's see. This is a nice little talent, not talent, flirtation setup on the top there. I think we'll just stick with this over here for now. There's not a whole lot going on. Man, I wanna I wanna find some like, you know, three over here that I can work with, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen, unfortunately. We are, you know, we've only got 10 moves left. I think we'll be fine, but we are running a little bit low. I guess what I can do is just play it safe and do that and bring the bell over there. Hmm. I see potential for a good talent setup, but it's not quite there. If I were to do this, I don't think that would actually change anything. I don't think I'd actually get any more passion matches. I guess for now we'll just do this. It's not a whole lot, but it's something, I guess. And with that, I can also, uh, I can set up and get another turn. It's never a bad thing. And with this, it, it's looking like we're pretty much in the clear. I think I'm going to want to do this. We'll get a little bit of sentiment there. I'd like to bring one of these over. Actually, I want to shift this blue talent one column over. Is there anything I can bring over there that'll match at the moment? It doesn't seem so at the moment, unfortunately. That's a shame. I could do this. Though it's getting kind of dangerous with broken hearts. And with that I can also do this. So now I can set up and probably finish things off. Do I have the ability to get any more moves? Oh, I do. That'll risk... Eh, this will probably help out my money return in the end. So it's probably worthwhile to do that. Excellent. Oh, that didn't finish it off though. Dang. Well, our next move probably will. Let's just see, is there a good way of going about it? Um, I don't see anything too crazy out there. Oh, I definitely just wasted that. I thought that would do it. Nope. It's alright though. We're, we're still doing fine. Cool. So, we succeeded that date. Again, I'm just trying to optimize. If we had an extra eight moves, probably could have made it work and not had to have been that meticulous about everything, but it's fine. Belly's, Belly's super nice. So, glad we got to at least introduce her to everyone watching. And with that, we'll, um, we'll talk with her one last time to get all the, all the honey. If I could change one thing about you, I don't even know you. Nothing, you're perfect the way you are, or might take you up a cup size, you can never have too much boob, or only that you would ask such an insecure question. Um, we'll, we'll go with this. Oof. See, we didn't get any honey there, and that would have been an, an absolute no-go. I feel like it's easy to see that such a response is, I don't know, insincere or facetious. But I'd also feel a little bit, well, hesitant to comment on her own insecurity. Regardless, we're gonna call it there. Um, thank you so much to the patrons for picking out this game. This is a game that is very much double-edged sword. I do think it has a lot of pros in the comedy, the music, the, the characters, the voice acting, and of course the puzzle games. I actually really enjoyed the puzzle aspect of it and the optimization that can go into this game. And it's really funny to revisit literally four years after I, I completed this game on Steam. And share your guys' thoughts on it. Um, 
I'm curious to see if you guys enjoyed this episode or have enjoyed this game in the past. And I can't guarantee that there will be a second episode even if this is popular because this is kind of a kind of murky waters when it comes to YouTube and bringing bad attention to the channel and NSFW stuff. So I, I don't know if there will be any more continuation, especially if things get to some of the later dates. But for now, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you want to pick some of the games I play again in the future, know that there is a link to my Patreon in the description below. You can always check that out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever it is you guys watch of mine. But until then, this is Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>